This session is on backwards ELOS method or implicit method. Please look at the part 1 and part 5 for better understanding. We will look at how to derivate formula and how to solve ordinary differential equation at a particular point from an initial condition. And we will solve one of the problem on backwards ELOS method. Please like, share and subscribe to this particular channel. On the backwards ELOS method or implicit method. I will explain to you why did we get this particular backwards ELOS method. Okay. And how do we get an a formula? Both are to be explaining you. Okay. If you guys have an example that y dash is equal to e power x. And they given that y of 1 is equal to nothing but e. And you have to find the value of y of 0 is equal to how much. Okay. Now for this one, it is a simple thing. We can just integrate it. Then y is equal to nothing but the integration of e power x dx, which is equal to e power x plus c. Initial conditions are known, so we can find the value of c, which implies y of 1 is equal to e power 1 plus c, which is equal to e, then c is equal to nothing but 0. So we can get the value of an uh, y of 0 is equal to nothing but e power 0, which is equal to 1. This is a simple thing, right? But if you have something equation like y dash is equal to 2 times of sine of 2y plus x into ln of y. Okay. Then this is an epic equation and they would be saying some value like f of x1 is equal to y1 and you have to find the value of y of x0 is equal to how much. Okay. Then we will be using a backwards ELS method. Okay. Now coming to the backward ELOS method. Okay. If you see the forwards ELOS method, it will be very easy to understand this one also. Okay. Please look at the forward ELOS method also. They will be giving one equation that f of dash is equal to f of x comma y. And they will be saying y of x1 is equal to y1. And they'd be asking the value of y of x naught is equal to how much, right? In this case, what we do is nothing but we will consider value of x1, y1. See here, there is a like graph here. This is nothing but x-axis. This is a y-axis. Now assume that the function may be looking in this particular format. Okay. Now we know the value of x1 and y1. So mark the values. I say this one is an a x1 value. And the side of it is nothing but y1 value. Now we'll be finding the slope. As we know y dash, then we can find the value of an a slope, which is equal to nothing but f of x1 comma y1. We get the value. So draw in a straight line, pass into it. Then we get in a straight line. Now when we consider any one more point, x and a x naught, such that distance between these two is nothing but h, which is nothing but the step size. Okay, then we can say that x1 is equal to nothing but x0 plus h of it, right? Plus h. Now what we do is nothing but find the value of an a y0. Here we can be getting an a y0. This is an assume value, okay? Some distance would be there between the function and the point, right? So we have to find the value of y0. For this one, what you do is nothing but if the distance between y1 and y0 is equal to a, and now we'll be drawing in a rectangle, okay? And a straight line here, and a straight line here. There's nothing but a, there's nothing but h, and there's nothing but in a slope, right? So we can write y1 is equal to nothing but y0 plus a. But we have to find the value of a from a rectangle. Then a is equal to nothing but it becomes h into slope. Slope is nothing but f of x1 comma y1. Right? So we can get the value of y1 is equal to nothing but y0 
plus h into f of x1 comma y1. By this whole equation, we can get a value of an y0. So the general formula for an backward Euler's method is nothing but y of i plus 1 is equal to y of i plus h into f of x of i plus 1 comma y of i plus 1. Okay, this is a basic formula of a backward Euler's method by which we can find the y of i. Okay, we will be solving one of the problem on it. Here I have noted down the formula. Now if you consider a differential equation dy by dx is equal to nothing but f of x comma y with initial condition y of x naught is equal to y naught and equation can be solved by okay backward Euler's method. Consider that h is equal to nothing but a step size. You have to consider h is nothing but a step size. Then backward Euler's method or implicit method general formula that we know is nothing but y of i plus 1 is equal to y of i plus h into f of x of i plus 1 y of i plus 1. You have to know this one, right? x of i plus 1 is equal to nothing but x of i plus h and y of i plus 1 is equal to nothing but you have to find the values, right? y of x of i plus h. The simple thing you have to remember. Now we will be solving one of the problem of it. Now come to the question. If y dash is equal to x into y plus 1, where y naught is equal to 1 and step size is equal to 0.25 using backward Euler's method, find the value of y1 is equal to. Okay. First we will understand the question properly. They are given that y dash which is equal to nothing but f of x comma y is equal to nothing but x into y plus 1 and we given the initial conditions that y of 0 is equal to 1 then we can say that x naught is equal to 0 and y naught is equal to 1 again they are given a step size which is nothing but h is equal to 0 0.25 again they are saying what is the value of y1 by using in a backward Euler's method general formula that we know is nothing but y of i plus 1 is equal to y of i plus h into f of x of i plus 1 comma y of i plus 1. This is a basic formula we know it. As we know that i is equal to nothing but 0, 1, 2, so on. Right? Now when we consider an i is equal to 0, then we get as y1 is equal to nothing but y0 plus h into f of x1 y1. What is x1? x1 is equal to nothing but x0 plus h which is equal to nothing but x0 we know that it is 0 plus h is 0 0.25 right which is equal to nothing but 0 0.25 which is equal to x1. We know the x1 value and we know the y0 value. You have to find the value of y1. Now we will be finding the value of f of x1 comma y1. Right? As we have to get the values here also. And y1 which is equal to nothing but it is given as x1 y1 plus 1 which is equal to nothing but here x1 is equal to 0 0.25 0 0.25 y1 plus 1. So we'll substitute the values here. We get as y1 is equal to y0 as 1 plus h is 0 0.25 into 0 0.25 y1 plus 1. Right? Take the common terms together then you get y1 1 minus 0 0.25 Point two five. It becomes zero point zero six two five. Is equal to nothing but it becomes one point two five. Right? Then y one is equal to nothing but one point two five by one minus zero point zero six two five. We get the value as nothing but 
1.33 with any calculator okay the answer is nothing but 1.33